everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got another fun fold submarine life for you, submarine life card for you. This is a bridge card where you create kind of a bridge between your uh, two pieces of your card front. Really easy to do. This is a really fun stamp set. I think it lends itself great for kids, but um, I think you could use it for non-kids too, for adults. Um, so many stamps in this set. You have 22 plus a punch. Everybody loves a punch. And you know how I know that? Because they always sell out. So I know you guys love the Submarine Life Builder Punch too. Okay, let's start our stamping. Um, this submarine, let me show you. I have um, another video right now on YouTube that shows you how to line these up on your block so that when you punch them with your punch, they're exactly where they need to be. But we are going to punch our punch punch our punch, that sounds funny, punch our image from, we're gonna stamp the submarine, but we're gonna punch the periscope and the little propeller from basic grip. So we don't need to worry about lining them up. There's our propeller and our periscope. All right, now we're gonna stamp our guy, our little, our little um, uh, submarine in real red. So let me get my ink and I think I'm gonna do it, let's do it on the, now we'll do it like this so we can feed it into our punch. I always like to look at the punch before I stamp to see what the best placement on my paper is. If I had done that, that would have worked too, but we're gonna slide it in sideways like this. I have seen this sub stamped in a rainbow of colors, so don't feel like you have to do the same colors as me for sure. Um, it's a really fun one uh, to do in any colors. Okay, so now we're gonna stamp our little background and we're gonna need, let's see, I've got grid paper here um, so that we don't get it on our work surface. Oh, that's my last piece. Okay, let's start with our circle. And I am gonna start with Azure Afternoon. This is actually the color of our card base. And I'm going to use this water image. This is the largest stylus, stylus shape circle. I'm going to stamp kind of like that. And then we'll stamp some that way, like that. Okay, so that serves as the top of our water. Now let's bring over pumpkin pie. And we're going to do, we've got two grasses. We've got a big one and a smaller one. And I'm going to do the smaller one in pumpkin pie here on the right and the left side, or the left and the right side, <laughs> depending on if you know your left and rights. All right, now I'm gonna grab my granny apple green, and this is the taller, skinnier grass, and I'm just gonna stamp that right in the middle. Now, I'm not gonna close my inks because I know we're probably gonna use them some more. I'm gonna grab the little school of fish and just stamp them swimming along. Okay, so now let's take our, um, you know, I'm going to use glue dots. Normally I would use liquid glue, but let's use glue dots because it dries faster, right? It Im dries immediately. I'm going to put a glue dot here on the end of my periscope, the, the, um, the little insert piece, if I can get the glue dot to do what I want it to do. There we go. And I'm gonna glue that coming out the back like that. Okay, now I'm gonna get my periscope, same thing. Get a glue dot. Oops, I think I put the glue dot on the wrong side. Okay, let's, let's put one on both sides. And hope, hopefully we don't stick it to our grid paper. All right, there we go. Okay, now we need dimensionals, my favorite. My favorite adhesive. Let's put two on there. And we'll put that, I'm gonna have that periscope sticking up right above that water. Let's have it coming off the side a little bit, like that. Now, we're not totally done with this. I'm gonna grab some Wink of Stella. Now, you guys, we have been out of Wink of Stella for months and months, and I just want you to know that it is coming back. There is a supplier issue. The people that make it are having some supply issues, but just, know that it is coming back. Not to fret. Okay, there we go. We've got our little front image. Now let's do the inside and let's do the little crab. Where's our little crab? He's my favorite. We'll do him in real red down here. And then we'll do our school of fish 
Let's go across, swimming across. I can just hear Dory, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, right? <laughs> Maybe we should have made them blue fish. Okay, so we've got our stamping. Now, last thing we're gonna stamp is our sentiment. And I think I might have stamped my, or cut my paper a little bit too long, but I think we can fix that. Or a little bit too wide, actually. Sending oceans of love. I cut it five eighths of an inch, but I think it needs to just be half an inch. So I'm gonna trim that off. Now we're gonna use the pick a punch banner, pick a punch, and you want it to slide right in there. There's a there's a groove there that's gonna help you center it. The, the, the hard part with this is knowing just how long to make your paper. It cuts off about a quarter of an inch. So if I was a planner, I would plan it a little bit better. But look, if I just keep cutting it, let's cut it a little bit shorter on this end. If I just keep snipping it, I know I'll get it to the right length that I want it. There, that's pretty good right there. Sending oceans of love. Okay, now let's take a look at how you make this card. It's super, super easy. You're going to take, um, you know what, let's see, do I have my trimmer? Yes. You're going to take a regular card base. This is four and a fourth by 11. And we're going to cut from that score line that we made right at five and a half. We're going to cut off two inches. All right. So that's the top part of your flap. And then with this piece, we're going to cut this into another two inch piece and then this you can just save it in your scraps whatever do whatever you want i have also taken a piece of um and it's a little bit too fat let's make it skinnier i've taken a piece of azure afternoon it should be one and three fourths by four and i have embossed it with let me show you the embossing folder. I believe they're called Happy Patterns, but I'll have it on my PDF so you know exactly which one it is. Let's see, does that fit better? Yes. All right, we're gonna take a piece of, now you could, I was just thinking about this, you could just take this piece itself and run it through the embossing machine, right? Totally. All right, now this, I feel like this is gonna be too big too. Yeah, I cut my pieces too big today, you guys. Let's, this one needs to be one and three fourths also. This is Azure Afternoon patterned paper from our uh, color packs. Each color family has a pack of designer series paper. All right, now here comes the precision. And really, it's not really, you don't have to be that precise. <laughs> it's not that complicated. Set this piece down here matching your edges. Okay, and I'm gonna get two dimensionals. I'm gonna put one right here, and I'm gonna put one down here. Now I'm gonna take my circle, ah, oh no. Okay, good. Let's get it lined up again. Line it up with the corners so it's exactly, when it closes, they'll be matched. And then you just take your circle and set it right there. You don't want it to go off the edge. It's gotta stay within that card size, right? And there you go. So easy, right? Super, super easy. Now that piece that we, the other piece that we stamped is here. And if you stamp your fish in the right place, you'll be able to see them. Let's add another one right there. What do you guys think? I was a little low and we want them to, to be able to, to see them. Let's see, we need a piece of scrap. Let's put a piece of scrap right there and we'll stamp another set of fish there we go so now when you close it you definitely can see those fish all right we're going to do a couple of dimensionals here on the front and then we're ready to embellish sending oceans of love now i am using the sweet sorbet baker's twine this is from our in color um, are retiring in color, so that would be 2022 to 2024 in color twine pack. I have loved this twine pack. I have used it a bazillion times. I love Baker's twine. Now, is this real red? No, it's not. Is it okay? Sure, it's okay. You're, you don't have to be all 100% matchy-matchy. Now, that's one reason we love Stampin' Up! Right is that the colors will all match when we want them to. 
but the colors also coordinate too. So right here, you can't tell that that's a different red at all. All right, I'm gonna take some of these foil gems, iridescent foil gems, and I'm gonna make some bubbles coming up from our, our little periscope. And there we go. All right, you guys, a really simple fun fold, easy peasy. I think you will have fun making this card. I think anyone who receives this card will absolutely love it too. All right, let me know if you have questions. Stop by my blog for the PDF and the two other submarine life projects. Happy stamping, guys. Bye.